assuming you're Alfred. Am I crazy or did we finally get to see Superman in the black suit? We are gonna break all of this down for you and tell you what this means for Zack Snyder's version of Justice League right now on The Catch-Up. During Justice Con, which was happening at the same time, but you know, just down the virtual street from Comic-Con at home, a panel centered around Zack Snyder revealed some pretty interesting details about his version of Justice League, which is coming to HBO Max next year. Counting down the days. And he debuted a never before seen clip that features Henry Cavill's Superman wearing the black suit while meeting Alfred, played by, of course, Jeremy Irons. A lot of star power in one scene. Well, that was fun while it didn't last. Now, basically, the black suit dates back to the comics in the 90s, when a pretty huge deal was made about the death of Superman at the hands of Doomsday, which is also who killed him in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. But when he inevitably returned in the comics, he initially wore a black version of his iconic suit, which has since become a popular piece of Superman lore. Also, most of us just look better in black anyway, right? So it was thought that when Superman was resurrected in Justice League, we would see it, which Snyder has said was his intention from the beginning. So in other words, it looks like we'll be getting more of Superman's resurrection story. <laughs> of course, his original version was drastically changed by new director Joss Whedon after Snyder left the project. And for more on that, check out our past episodes about the Snyder Cut, meaning we did not see the black suit in the version that exists right now, which is a rotten 40% on the tomato meter, by the way. Right ain't over yet. My man. The closest we have come to seeing it was actually in a deleted scene that came with the Justice League Blu-ray release. Remember those? And in it, we see Clark Kent in the Fortress of Solitude walking past both the black suit and some Kryptonian space armor. Can we talk about how dope that closet was, though? Funny enough, that scene could have really helped Superman's character arc in Justice League, which is one of the many reasons fans have demanded to see a Snyder Cut. Good. So I really like being alive. Speaking of which, Snyder also teased on the panel that he's trying to secure the name Zack Snyder's Justice League for the film, but isn't sure if that's legally possible. Would love your thoughts on that one. And the clip that was shown shows off one of his main focuses, which is restoring the film's intended aspect ratio, adding that a lot of important parts of scenes were actually cropped out of the frame. With that, Snyder was sure to be clear that he most definitely won't be using any footage that wasn't shot by him. So in other words, goodbye to Superman CGI'd upper lip. R.I.P. I know you. All right, friends, it's time for us to kick it over to you now. What are you most excited to see in Zack Snyder's version of the Justice League? Please unload all your thoughts and feelings in the comments section. And if you want more movie and streaming news, head on over to RottenTomatoes.com. But all of it doesn't stop there, guys. Join us on our fan group on Facebook because we can chat about the black suit, the blue suit. I mean, heck, even the non-existent purple suit, whatever we want and connect there. And if you don't want to miss out on any future episodes of this show, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And as always, we can't thank you enough for watching the catch up. So thank you. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye.